Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, part two of our virtual lab uh, kind of learning with each other. Um, I think on part one, I showed you guys how to create a storage space. Again, I'm following the lab notes and I'm just abbreviating more knowledge of what I know to you guys so you guys can understand a little better. Again, at the bottom of the description, I'm going to place a link so you guys can download this PDF and check it out. Uh, so, and also I'm going to provide the link for the virtual lab so you guys can actually test this stuff out yourself. So that's pretty cool. So, so in the next video we're going to do is modify the disk to implement tearing. Awesome. So now what they say is in this task, you will manually modify the disk media type to create a mix of SSD, which is solid state drives, and HDDD, which is hard drive, uh, yeah, hard drives, um, base disk. Uh, this step is not necessary in production environment where physical disks are directly attached to servers. So this is not really recommended during production. Uh, the only reason that we're doing this is because we're doing it in a virtual environment and they want you to do this because it wipes clean whatever and it renews the virtual machines for you to uh, use it again later on. Uh, so again, they kind of put a caution, do not attempt these steps in a production environment. Doing Doing so will result in an unsupported configuration and possible data corruption or loss. All right, guys? So that's a huge caution. We're only doing the modified disk to implementing only for testing environment only. Got it? So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So they basically want you to log into admin, which we already logged into admin from the previous, um, the previous server. And they want you to open up your Windows PowerShell. So we're gonna open up Windows PowerShell. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna to go to properties uh, because I wanna change the font a little bit so we could see what is going on, okay? And as well as the font, I'm gonna to go to properties and layouts. And we are gonna change the little layout because I wanna have some nice space. And so, uh, my notes again, always gotta follow the notes. So they want you to do these commands within the virtual lab. Again, this is not recommended at all, right guys? And first command is invoke. Cross that out. Invoke command computer be the parameter. Computer name would be the parameter. Uh, DC would be the computer name that we want to invoke this command to. Uh, a parameter of script block and uh, wiggly bracket two dot dot five space pipe it uh, percent sign and I believe that's a wiggly bracket we're gonna do a set physical physical disk space friendly friendly name physical Physical disk, capital P, physical. Remember, I'm over here looking at the notes. Physical disk, dollar sign, underscore, dash, media, type. And then we're going to close all the wiggly brackets and we're going to hit enter. Okay. So this process is going to take a while. Oh, wow. This gave me an error. I probably typed something wrong. So we need to look into this a little bit more and see what's going on. Okay, so invoke command computer name DC script block wiggity bracket two dot dot five percent sign sent physical disk friendly name physical yeah, physical disk dollar sign underscore media. Oh, I forgot something, guys. I forgot what type of media, right? HDD. Oh my god, HDD. And then it's going. So uh, it looks like this command uses an abbreviated for loop, which executes the command once for each value two through five and inserts the current value where the dollar sign underscore is located in the command string. Okay, so that's it looks like it's done and it now it tells you it wants you to type in so I'm gonna clear this out and it wants you to do a invoke command there you go invoke command you gonna do another attribute of computer name DC is the computer we're basically doing the domain controller this is where we're actually pushing out these PowerShell commands to our domain controller and we're gonna do a space 
we're gonna do another parameter of script block uh, wiggity bracket and we need to do is a git physical disk space we're gonna pipe it and we're gonna do a, a select friendly friendly name media type which it is it, it did type it it just went I think it did right I don't even know if it did it yeah it did it media type right and uh, we're gonna do a size wiggly bracket we're gonna pipe it again and we're gonna do a format table and we're gonna hit enter <coughs> so this command is basically getting what we just did that for loop that we did uh, it's we're retrieving that information so it looks like for what it says over here in a note uh, you have a series of disks which are a mix of HDDD and SSD format disk this is the minimum requirement to implement a tier storage space okay and that's about it guys that is how we create or um, well, that's how we modify disk for to implement Terry again uh, for what Microsoft provided as a caution they don't recommend us to do this during production time uh, for testing environment yes production no so that's pretty strange because it, for me for what I've done and what it looks like it's pretty needed because the last tip that they provided they basically said you have this series of disks which are a mix of HDD and SSD for, from you know form at format disks right uh, this is a minimum requirement to implement the tiered storage spaces so that that right there kind of confuses me because they tell you not to do it in production but over here it tells you it's a minimum requirement to implement a tiered storage spaces so who knows and that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this part two of uh, our new playlist happening at BJ Tech News dealing about uh, building an optimized file server with uh, a tier storage space and as well as deduplication uh, I think on part three I'm probably gonna go over how to create how to create the tiered volume with deduplication. Awesome. So I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.